stash recipe. It is gonna be creamy dill chicken. Got my recipe card. I got the bag of ingredients from HelloFresh, and I have the chicken that came with it. So, step by step, so I'm gonna show you what's in the bag do. of ingredients. Green beans, ooh. Oh, I'm not trying that. Mm -hmm. And the dill, and sour cream. Remember, this is a meal for two. And there are some other things. Chicken must be like chicken stock. And we got a bunch of potatoes in there. Cooking with us is Addison, my niece, my mom, Nana, <laughs> and Carson. Of course, y'all know. All right, let's get to started. We preheated the oven. Oh, and the dog. Dog, we're going to try to cook. Always in the kitchen. And so step one is we preheated the oven. I've got to uh, take the dill off the stems. I can do that. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, we'll see. So I'll let I'm you know. I'm supposed to remove all the little fronds or whatever they call the dill from the stem. So I'm just going to be doing that. And then we're going to discard the stem. Once I'm done pulling them off, then I'm going to chop them up finely. That's what it says. So I'm going to show you this one. Then I'll do the rest. Here's the others right here. There's a bunch. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm obsessed with pickles, so I'm excited to try this. And so basically that's it. And then all right. Carson's trying the stem and the, or taking the fronds off the stems. It's pretty easy, huh? Yeah. So even a kid can do it. Yo. Yeah. Yummy. Does it smell good? Smell like pickles? No. That's what pickles? That, that is not what it smells like. It smells gross. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Someone give me a guest mask over here. No. All right. So that's pretty easy to do. We're going to finish doing it. And we're okay. Going to so as I said, you know, I'm not a chef. I don't ever cook from scratch. So this is me finally chopping the deal. I'm just going to do it as good as I can. It's not really my thing. But look, I'm doing it. Yeah. All right. We are chopping our potatoes, getting ready to put them in the oven. Obviously, this is easy. I washed them and everything, and that's it. We're gonna get our potatoes ready to go in the oven. You gotta put some oil down. I'm using Pam. Got my potatoes chopped, and I'm just gonna kind of spread them out here a little bit. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper. All right, pepper. Woo. And we like some salt. And potatoes is good with pepper. Oh yeah. Okay. And now I'm gonna put them in the oven. Let's go in for. 22 to 25 minutes and that's it and so, uh, next up um, right while the chicken is cooking in the pan that's just getting started i'm going to prep this um, i'm using another baking pan again i'm going to spray a little bit of pan and we're going to do the green beans all right now once you put them in there we do a little salt and pepper of course you know and a little salt and then I'm just going to kind of toss them with my clean hands. Getting that ready because that'll be going in. They only take about 11 or 12 minutes. Um, but this is pretty cool. I can't wait to taste this. All right. All right, guys. I'm just letting you know. I got, okay, got these prepped. They're not going in yet. Um, they're going to go in soon. I'm going to try putting them in when the potatoes have about 12 minutes left. I'm going to put the beans in because it says they take about 11, 12 minutes. Can you hear my chicken? And just so you can see, got potatoes in the oven. I'm following my prep So far, easy. My only nervous thing is making the sauce because I never made like a sauce from scratch, but step by step, comes with everything I need. So we'll see. All right, got that chicken cooking. It's getting brown on one side. It said about six minutes on each side, and then I'll double check it to make sure they paint. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Be careful, everything's hot. Okay, Addy. Now, so you had to add two tablespoons of water. This is for the sauce. I've done that already. Um, about a teaspoon. A uh, teaspoon of dill, but I like a lot of dill, so I'm going to add the sour cream and the chicken stock they sent right here. All right, so chicken stock is going in here, and now we're going to do um, the sour cream. All right, and then it says, um, we're only gonna do about half the pack of the honey Dijon mustard because they sent a little extra in it, they said, so I'm not gonna put the whole pack. And um, it does tell you the exact, you know, measurements of everything that you're gonna use. Okay, now, let me get me a little, uh, we have that little, little spoon or fork thing over there. No, 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 no. Let's give me this. Give me that white thing. There we go, perfect. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm, tell, I'm telling you, I just don't do this stuff. All right, so I've got it on low heat. Um, make sure I added everything. Stir. And it says, stir scrapings up from the bottom. <laughs> and then it also says a little salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, less pepper. A little salt. Okay, now I'm just kind of going. Like I said, this is the part that, you know, smells kind of good, don't it, Kyle? Yeah. Let's just put a little more dill. I'm sorry. We, we, this is like. Oh, on camera, it looks like there's a lot of dill in there. We thought that, we thought oh. that little, that's <laughs> little dill. Alright, so. It looks very bright. But, yeah. So you're basically just making a little bitty salt. Again, this is just enough stuff for two people. If you look over here, I've got my green beans and, oh man, they're good. Green beans, mm. potatoes, mm. chicken. Oh, well, potatoes, well, mmm, mmm, mmm. So really, I'm going to make it soft. I'm going to be ready to go. Okay. We'll let you know the final. Are you ready? Final yeah. thing. All right, guys. So now this isn't a full portion because I'm going to be sharing this with everybody else's taste test. So this is like a uh, half of a chicken and just a little bit of everything. So I put the dill sauce on it. I'm about to see. Mm. Mm, you're supposed to sprinkle some more dill on it. I forgot. It's a really good sauce because I'm able to put a little dill on top too. But the sauce, you can taste a little bit of the mustard. It's just right. Let's do another. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to be making this sauce all the time now. And I know how to make a sauce. I never made one. Potatoes. Perfect. Oh. My person's eating it. What is it? Oh, my God. Okay. I'll tell you the details of what I think about everything else. But it was easy to make for a non-cooker. And it's delicious, might I say so myself. Thanks for watching. Bye. So my thoughts on the portion. The portion was good. You have, you each get a piece of chicken which would be great. And then if you looked at all those potatoes that came with it and the green beans, half that. So honestly, if I just ate the chicken and half the potatoes and green beans, it would be, you know, I'll be full. I just like leftovers. So you might want to think about that when you're ordering, you know, maybe add another meal or two just so that you have leftovers. Cause you know, everybody likes leftovers, take it for lunch. Anyway, and plus you just want more of that great food. <laughs> So now let's talk about price. So price, okay, so when I went and did the research, obviously I got to try this at no cost, but I signed up for this delivery. It was two meals for two people. So what you didn't see is we also got a beef meal for two people, and we're just going to make that, you know, today or tomorrow for fun. But, so in that box was two meals for two people, so four meals technically, and if you would have paid for that, it's $39.99 plus $7.99 shipping. Now, on your first box, when you sign up for this description, your first box, you can get a great promo that you can pay like $10 and that's it for those two meals. But my question, um, when I talked with the company, my question for them was, so I'm going to, I can apply a really cool promo code for my first box. Can I apply a promo code for my next box and so on and so forth? So forth. Um, the answer was most promo codes only are going to apply to your first box. So you first to try it, you know, you're going to get a really good deal. And after that, you'll probably spend the, what, so almost $48 for the four meals. Now the price is, I think, comparable to like if you were eating out, but again, you're cooking the meal. So it could be something you could do once in a while for fun. Us as a family, we're on a tight budget usually. You know, we go to Walmart, we get our groceries, we plan our meals out. So this would not be in a good budget for us. But for fun, we could do it once in a while. Um, but if you live in a place that you don't just go to the grocery store and get load up on groceries every week, you have to go and run to the market to get little things here and there, this could be great. And if money is on an issue for you, this would be great for sure. And, um, but I just wanted to kind of break it down for you a little bit there. So, um, it was definitely fun to try it. If you have the money and, the you know, or just want to try it for fun, um, I think it is a great way to do it with, with the family and get to do the ingredients and see things that you might not normally see in your kitchen, like me, because <laughs> we don't usually go from scratch, scratch. 
But I really enjoyed doing it, and I hope that my video was informative, and I hope it makes you, helps you make a decision on if you would like to try this or not. So, and like I said, they got great promo codes for your first box. As soon as that box arrives, if you don't want to do it again, just go to log back in and cancel it, and you'll never get another one. So, but enjoy, and thank you for watching.